Y'all know how important helping the community is to me. And let's be honest, our communities need us right now. All of us. People are always asking me, Shaletta, how can I make a difference? Well, I have the answer. XL Energy is putting on its annual day of service and you can take part. It's happening Thursday, September 8th through Sunday, September 11th. There will be nearly 80 nonprofit projects where you can volunteer to pack meals for folks in need, put together school supply kits and more. Join thousands of your neighbors along with XL Energy employees. You can even get your kids involved. It's a meaningful opportunity for your entire family to make a difference. To learn more about XL Energy's Day of Service project, go to their website at www.xlenergy.com slash DOS info. Do your part to give back to the places where we all live and work. Get fast, reliable internet for any budget. Now qualifying customers can get Xfinity internet free through the Affordable Connectivity Program. That's right, free high-speed internet from Xfinity. And Internet Essentials customers can get equipment included at no extra cost. Get started today. Before she became an autism advocate and mom of four, Shaletta Brundage was an Emmy Award winning comedian. Need something to put a smile in your face? Laughing with Letta is sure to tickle your funny bone. Check it out, but pee first and make sure you ain't drinking nothing when Shaletta's on a roll. That way you won't have anything to clean up when the podcast is over. Hey everybody, y'all know I laugh and joke, but I don't play when it comes to community service and helping out our folks in need, whether it is children or families, men, women, our elderly community, somebody needs something that you have. Um, and, and you think, you know, what do I have to give? How can I help? What, what can I do to make a difference? You know, something as small as uh, 30 minutes at a senior center or packing lunch for children or, you know, reading uh, at a library. There are so many things that you can do to make a difference. And, you know, I was out live at the Minnesota State Fair and we were talking about Excel Energy's day of service. And, you know, we just had like a little blip on CCO radio because, you know, everything's timed and they got commercials to play and we had to rush through it. But I don't think we really gave um, what Excel Energy is doing for its annual day of service project. Um, enough do. So I got my own podcast platform. I am not uh, limited to a certain time. I can talk as long as I want. And I plan to do just that with my friend, John Marshall. He is a regional vice president uh, of community relations and the foundation at XL. Thank you so much, John, for being here with me today. It is an honor and a pleasure uh, to have you join Laughing with Letta. Thank you so much, Lana. I appreciate it. Appreciate the opportunity. Very, very nice to meet you here. And and, and thank you for partnering to pr promote uh, DS Service here for XL. Really appreciate it. Now, you know, the reason that I'm so glad that we're working together is people see uh, me and my podcast is out in the community, whether we are giving away gift baskets at the hospital or hams in North Minneapolis for Easter or Thanksgiving baskets. We're always doing something. And they always ask me, Shuka Shaletta, what can I do? How can I help? You know, people want a way somewhere that they can go so that they can mm -hmm. sign up to make a difference. They, you know, everybody's not like me. They're not like going out looking for stuff to do, asking people. They just want a nice, neat place to go where they can check a box and show up somewhere and really make a difference. And Excel Energies made that easy for them to do. Talk to me about the day of service. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. You're right. I totally agree. I think everyone is, you know, itching and yearning day in, day out to, to give back and to share and just step up and help. And, you know, ideally you make it easy and, and folks come in droves. It really is that kind of philanthropic style and, and culture that we have across Minnesota, I think. But uh, so Excel Energy's Day of Service, we started this about a dozen years ago. Uh, as a company, we were looking around. We had a really good, strong volunteer base of employees. Um, you know, Excel has been serving the Twin Cities for 110 years. It's a utility company. You know, we serve uh, day in to day out electricity and energy. Uh, and I think that culture and, and that mindset of service is, is kind of transposed into all of our employees. Just incredible volunteer base of employees, incredible retirees that mm -hmm. come together and show up you know, in drove. So about a dozen years ago, we said, well, how can we take this concentration of goodwill and really project it in a targeted way with our, all of our nonprofit partners, the communities that we serve and really make a difference? And that was really how DS Service was born about 12 years ago. 
But this is the thing. Now, mm-hmm. it's one thing to mobilize your own employees, your own crew of people. Um, everybody that works at the company and say, hey, send out that email blast. We're having a day of service. We need you to show up here. But Excel Energy took it a step further and decided, we're going to involve the community. Talk to me about that. Yeah. I, um, so about midway in uh, to our of our last 12 years of day of service, we decided, you know, what if we take this? It's working well. Our employees are engaged. They're having a blast. Good weather impacting the community. You're bringing your kids out and stuff and really, you know, getting to teach service. Should we open the door and, and kind of roll the dice, see if the public would want to join in as well? We didn't know. It was a bit of a gamble. But again, go back to that philanthropic mindset that exists all across the metro here. Uh, we opened it up and uh, hundreds and hundreds of volunteers from across the community said, yeah, we'd love to do that. You know, partner with good folks like yourself and CCO to get the word out and and uh, people just resonate. And they say, that sounds great. I want to bring my kids to there. I want to pack some bags. I want to do some river cleanup. I want to do, uh, you know, this or that for all these different nonprofits in our community. And um, it's been great. And, and again, you make it easy. You have a variety yeah. of locations yeah. and options and partners. And, and again, it is over four days. People have been coming out in droves and, and we expect another really strong turnout this year. Now, I want to make sure that people know exactly where they can go, um, exactly how they can get involved. This takes place September 8th through the 11th. You go to excelenergy.com backslash DOS info. Um, if you can't write it down, just click your phone on the QR code there and it will give you all the information that you need. Uh, there are tons of locations and projects and times. There is something that will fit into your schedule and you know this is the thing john like you said you have made it so easy for people to sign up for people to participate and what i like most is that you get the kids involved now you got kids Mm -hmm. i got kids (laughs) and we are always looking for something for them to do to keep them busy now every project on there is not for children but there are some that are Correct. Yep. There's plenty out there for kiddos and, and definitely encourage people, you know, bring your kids out, uh, bring nieces and nephews, what have yes. you. It, make it a fun affair. It's it, it's great learnings. It's a blast. You also, again, it's, um, again, you're teaching to give back. I remember my youngest experience volunteering with my parents at Dorothy Day. And it's, you know, you imprint on, on that, the thinking of giving back and volunteering. Plus it's fun. It's good weather. You're outdoors. And if you can get them burned out and exhausted, they'll sleep well that night, which right, is right. vanity for you and I. So that's <laughs> important too, you know? And, you know, I like the fact that it's not just one day. Yeah. Um, you have built it out so that it is several days, again, throughout the Twin Cities at different areas where people can sign up so you get more than one opportunity. Um, you know, how did it progress um, to get so big and so large and so encompassing? Yeah, you know, every year it just grew and grew more and grew more. And, and we got more refined with our, our packaging, uh, many more partners that we work with already with our foundation, raised their hand and said, hey, could we be a, could we engage with you in day of service, put together a project? You know, we, we grew the dates from one day originally mm-hmm. to now four. Again, that's a bit more of the user experience. You get more folks if you have more flexibility. Yeah. Um, great media partners like yourself, again, WCCO. And again, the variety of options out there. Um, um, really just um, help the impact grow and, and really help the popularity of it. You make it simple. You know, it's a good time of year. The fall's a good time. Folks are coming back to school. Um, folks are looking to step up and make an impact. And that's just, uh, um, yeah, we've been really fortunate to see it growing each year. We're expecting a big turnout this year. Last year we had, you know, across our eight states, and this isn't just in, in Minnesota. Uh, we served about 20,000 pounds of food and um, uh, about 2,200 uh, packages of school supplies for the kiddos, hundreds and hundreds of trees planted, all these different um, kind of metrics of impact. They're great. Uh, but you scrape it all away. At the end of the day, it's a collective community coming yeah. out with authenticity and caring. And that's just, uh, that moves the needle, right? And that's, I think, something that we're all yearning to do each and every day. So um, they're yeah, really excited about this this event this year for some more growth. You know, it's about imp- the impact it's going to make on these families, um, these people, each bag, each tree, each lunch, each backpack 
each thing that you do is going to help people in need. These are your neighbors, your employees, mm -hmm. these kids sitting next to your children on the bus, behind mm -hmm. them at school. Um, they're going to Valley Fair and standing in line together. You know, this is going to make an impact. And talk to me about that community impact that yeah. the Excel uh, Energy Day of Service is going to make on uh, the folks, especially in underserved communities and in need uh, right here in our community. No, absolutely. I mean, examples of the project, uh, you know, Union Gospel Mission over there in St. Mm -hmm. Paul, um, you know, incredible organization. We're, we're going to be help cleaning that up and, and working on their warehouse and helping them with some efficiencies. Uh, we got the Phoenix Alternatives, um, helping adults with developmental disabilities. A uh, lot of opportunity to impact that great organization. The Girl Scouts of River Valleys will be canvassing neighborhoods, spreading the, the narrative of their organization and the work that they're going to be doing. Mississippi Park Connection, replanting trees, et cetera. Again, a variety of opportunities. Opportunities. There's individual partnerships happening with these nonprofit organizations that need help. Um, and that impact, again, it's so important. I think everyone's yearning for common ground these days yeah. and everyone is yearning to find unity on, on things and, and do right by the world and, and with our kids and stuff. So, um, you know, it's a great four day um, endeavor. It's a great opportunity for folks to come together, have laughs, sweat a little bit. On the and uh, get some good things done. I, every visual I have of my day of service, so I'm chasing my little kids and I'm just sweating covered in right, dirt. Right, just it, wet. But it's good. It's good. It's good. It's um, you know, it's um, life short. You got to make those memories and you got to make an impact while you're here. So that's um, that's really what's important there is that authenticity and delivering the thanks. And you know, whether you're a retiree from Excel or a community member that heard about it or you're a current employee. It's a great experience. Um, it's fun to take a couple hours away. And again, it's it's just, um, it really, um, it's reflective of the culture that we see collectively in the Metro. Good, good mm -hmm. people always yeah. looking to raise their hand and help. You know, and for me, I think I'm going there to be a blessing, but, you know, I feel like I've been blessed by just being there. Yeah. By knowing that I'm making an impact, by knowing that I'm, you know, helping out with, you know, cleaning a house or helping an elderly person or packing a lunch for a child. You know, you're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to go and I'm going to do this and I'm going to help them feel good. And you leave and you feel better and you want to do more. And, yeah. and so I, I just see from being there and from having this day of service, how it you know, sponsors a, a, a spirit of, of giving, you know, yeah. so that I, you want to do more past the four days, how you want to make an impact. And I have my kids asking me, what are we going to do next? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. It starts that perpetual motion of goodwill, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 And so that is September the 8th through the 11th. Uh, scan your QR code right now if you're watching us on YouTube, or you can go to excelenergy.com backslash DOS info. Um, my friends at the Sabathany Community Center are excited about this. Um, you know, the folks over at uh, the Open Streets are excited about this. I'm going to be broadcasting live with you guys on September the 10th, so I can't wait. Um, we'll have the whole WCCO family out there and we'll be talking to you while we're there to get folks out um, into the community so they'll know how they can make an impact and god bless you for oh. the work that you're doing because this is an undertaking you know for us it's easy because we just go on and click click but you know you got some folks behind the scenes who are making sure you got enough volunteers and everybody's signing up's got the paperwork and you know they're the age and this is appropriate for that person and you know you got the supplies once you get there because we're just showing up like hey how can we you got to have your it. Maybe I understand y'all got it you know it's easy for us but I know yeah. this is a lot of work for you and your employees so hats off to you Thank you kindly. They, yeah, they're working tremendously hard and, and uh, it's a passion project. It's, I mean, what a mm -hmm. blessing to be able to work for a company, enjoy it. You care about what we do in each and every day. And then you get to do the showcase event in the fall, tons of work to build up, but so much to give back. And like you said, it, it um, you know, you go out there trying to help others and it really does uh, stir the soul a bit and uh, makes you feel good. And it wants you, makes you want to keep doing it again over and over. So we're excited for this year. We know the weather is going to be impeccable all four days. And yeah. uh, a lot of good projects and it's again it's just a great opportunity to come together and do some some great volunteering and again can't thank you enough for your partnership spreading the word uh and really engaging so much um, means a lot well i thank you for trusting me uh to help get the word out i'm posting on social media today while we're talking you know because i can multitask because i'm a mama you know how parents do oh, yeah. and just to let folks know hey get out there bring your kids um we all have 
um, an opportunity to be the change that we want to see in our community. And you have made it easy for us to do that with the Excel Energy Day of Service uh, starting in September the 8th through the 11th. You guys want to make sure to get out there. Thank you so much for being Thank on you. Laughing with Letter. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wonderful, okay. wonderful start to the week for sure. Now, who is that behind you? That's really uh, the start of the show. Who is that? Bring, right that here? Uh, yeah, bring that thing on in. Who, who very, is that? Uh, my apologies. That's my very busy sh uh, schnoodle. Uh, she's about no apologies. Uh, nope, 14 years old. And uh, no, yeah. 14? Yeah, oh. she's old. You better be glad she let you talk. She's running the house. Hello? I know how that goes. Oh, it's constant. Don't let the doorbell go. I'm like, please, please, Lord, play it. Yeah, I, that would be a, that would be the end of the podcast for sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much. It has been a joy and a pleasure hanging out with you. And I can't you wait too. to see you on September 10th. You too. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. And you all, thank you for listening. Thank you for joining. Thank you for making a difference in your community. I'm telling you, get out there. Um, September the 8th through the 11th. It's the Excel Energy Day of Service. The information is right there on your screen. If you're listening on Spotify, Stitcher, uh, Google, Odyssey, the website is excelenergy.com backslash DOS info. Do your part, do your part to make it better in the places where we all live and work. We'll see you out there in the community. Before she girl is crazy in a good way to check out previous episodes log on to her website she let makes me laugh.com you can also check out where she's appearing next and score cool merch at hy -Vee, we take pride of being part of the communities we serve in 2021 we donated more than 14 million meals and this year we're committed to doing even more for over 90 years, we've been the place that people turn in time of need, and we take that very seriously. That's why we're loading our semis full of food this week and making deliveries across the Midwest to help families this Easter. To join our effort, simply donate when you're at the checkout. Together, we can make a big difference for those in need. When my daughter was first diagnosed with autism, I didn't know what to do because I knew she qualified for services and resources for people with disabilities. But trying to figure out how to manage everything was overwhelming. So I turned to the folks at Acra Home Care for help because for 30 years they've helped families like mine and provided self-guided personal care assistance services and financial management assistance for their developmentally delayed and elderly loved ones. The folks at Acra helped us get a fence so my daughter could play outside in the backyard safely and even showed me how to use the resources to get a trampoline. And that's just a couple of the things that Acra Home Care does. Whether it's assisted living, mental health, or home health care, they've got you covered. Acra will make sure your loved ones who need services actually get it. Go to their website at acrahomecare.org or give them a call at 952-935-3515. All right, did you know I was the Mommy Slam Dunk Champion? Really? <laughs> yes, really, don't sound so surprised. Let's see it. Oh, you're ready, all right, here we go. Let's hear the crowd. <sighs> so go to right, go to left, got fake a mom. Mama, go up, mama! She did it. Again. You can't avoid gravity, but United Healthcare can help you avoid financial surprises by helping you compare costs and doctor quality ratings. United Healthcare. Uh-huh.